Hey guys and girls, Synergy here and welcome to some PvP madness. What we're going to be talking about in this video is general gameplay and just hope you enjoy it really at the end of the day. But what we're going to go through is we're going to go through some of my absolutely epic fails and also some of my epic wins at the same time. Now what I do like to do in PvP is I do like to be aggressive, you can see me just dodging the crap out of that uh, grenade there. Um, unfortunately it was a seeker so I was just moving back, letting it hit me and making sure these snipers over here won't be able to get a shot off on me. Now the guns that I'm actually using at the moment is the Ephrodite Spear which you can see me using right now, completely missed that shot. Was pretty sure that was a headshot but uh, I must have missed it. <laughs> and we miss again. What the hell is going on? Why won't it hit this guy? <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to use that right there. Oh shit, he's got a fawn as well. A fawn, guys. Come on. I'm using a pissing last word and he's got a fawn, so he's going to beat me hands down at range. What the hell is this guy doing? He's just stood there. Man, that was an easy target. Okay, someone behind me anyway at the same time. He's jumping up. Ah! Yeah, you got slapped, brother. And grenade for this guy. We'll get the kill. Oh shit, there's another person that's come behind us. Damn it! Motherfucker. Okay, so we're getting straight back into the action and we are going over to B-side because that's where our strength point is, that's where everybody is. Unfortunately, it does allow a super to come and wipe us all out clean if they do have a super built up. Now you can see me get that kill there, but I actually backed off to the other way because they seem to be rotating the enemy team. You can see them at C right now. And this is one of my other fails, I can see him right there. Guy killed him anyway, so I'm just going to help him cap it at the same time. When I'm actually playing PvP, rather than just going for the kills, obviously I do like to be aggressive at the same time, but I also like to help the team win because I don't like to lose, neither does anybody to be fair. But unfortunately, I can't win them all, so it's simple as that. Um, now, as you know, I've been a PvP player. Ooh, nice little headshot right there. Anyway, oh, oh well, where was I? What was I saying? Oh, yeah. As you all know, I've been a PvE player, and I have been practicing my Crucible skills, and seeing if I can get better with certain weapons, certain combinations, and I've been trying different weapons. I've also tried the Hopscotch Pilgrim, which a lot of people are fond of. Personally, I'm not very fond of it yet. I can get a lot of headshots with it, no problem, but it doesn't seem to do as much damage as the hype that everybody seems to make out. Now you can see this guy right there, so we're going to take him out straight away, and it's that same fawn guy who's camping at the back. Sit down, brother from another mother. Okay, so we got the heavy ammo. Now what I like to do with the heavy ammo is just be patient. Um, I do like the enemy team to waste a lot of those, but you can see you got an easy rocket kill right there. I was hoping they actually bum rush through with the two skulls though when I actually fired that rocket, but they didn't, so I'm just going to fire this one. And we get the kill there. Fire that one. Oh shit, he survived it. No freaking way. And there we go, we get the grenade kill. Now we are supered, so we're going to use our super right now because we are getting bum rushed again. Ah, die, you son of a bitch. Okay, there's a grenade here, so I'm guessing there's another guy. There we go. And we'll take him out. Gutted. <laughs> what a... Was that actually a reward? I don't even know what the hell that reward was. Gutted. Sounds pretty awesome to be fair. Okay, there's a guy right here and my aim is absolutely awful, but we still managed to clutch the kill shortly after we get taken out. God damn it! Okay, so I think we're on two deaths now. No, I've only got one bullet in the chamber for my sniper, but if I can use that sniper effectively, then at least it's worth the kill. There is some special ammo there, but we can see that there's quite a few guys hanging around here, so we're just going to take that guy out right there. Keeping an eye on our minimap, so we're not actually aiming in too far as well, and we're just rotating back. Seems like this side needs a little bit of help. Going to help him, and then I realise that I'm greatly outnumbered here. Tried to get the headshot there, was pretty sure the crosshair was on him. Fortunately didn't get it, but again, nice kill right there to the right hand side. Now I'm just moving over to here. Oh shit, Blade Dancer. 
Ah, oh, nearly killed him. Nearly killed him. God, look at his health. Look at his health. Uh, almost. That would have been funny if I got that then. Okay, so yeah, one of the most effective ways of taking a Blade Dancer out is the Titan Smash, as you saw as an example there. So Titans, yeah, you can take Blade Dancers out quite easy, but do you really want to use a Titan Smash in Crucible on one Blade Dancer? Or would you rather use it going dominating a whole pack on the heavy ammo, for example? That's what I'd do personally. Oh, we got a nice snipe hit there, and we're going to finish him off by switching to the last word again. Now this gun has been quite highly rated by people. A lot of people do say it's overpowered, but if you can see, just right here for example, you do have to get some aim on the gun. So it's not exactly the newbiest gun to use. Um, snipers are going to be one of the hardest, but a lot of snipers they do tend to camp as well. We're just going to take that guy out there, and then we get bum rushed by the shotgun again. God damn it, but our score is currently on 4205. This is the part where I don't actually mind dying, as you can see here. I spawn right by the heavy ammo. That'll do, brother. That'll do. Now, me being the team player, I'm trying to wait for the team to come for the heavy, but it seems like nobody was interested. What the hell are you all doing? None of you have heavy. What is going on? Am I the only guy that went for heavy? Yes, I am. So I'm going to have to take out as many as I possibly can with the heavy without dying. You can see right here, oh, he's bum rushing. There we go, we've got the kill. Now a lot of these, and I mean a lot of these, could have heavy right now. So we're just going to reload this rocket and hopefully we'll end up with another kill. And we end up firing it, but they've already taken him out. So I'm just going to rush straight through. Getting on to B. Now I realise that there's a guy right there, so I'm going to use my blade answer. Oh, I've been hit already by the pissing grenade. We'll get double kill. Come around the side, we're going to blink over here, looking at our minimap, and we're going to take out the third guy. There we go. Now that we're neutralising, we're just using that blink to see where they're coming from. You can see one on hard left, and a Titan Smash coming in. You failed! Oh no! I failed! How the hell didn't I kill him in time? Oh yeah, he's harder to kill while he's Titan Smashing. Son of a bitch. Don't forget guys, if you do like the video, just let me know and stuff like that. Oh yeah, and the girls that are watching as well. Sorry, didn't mean to be a bit sexist then. <laughs> Force of habit. Okay, he just jumped up. I've got only three in the chamber. I need to reload. And I should have really won that gunfight. That should have been mine. But he ended up taking me out. Fair play to him. Well played. Although he is using a dirty phone, which I'm going to upload another video just to show you guys a phone gameplay. Another one. Mm, yeah, that's right. I'm also going to show you how to get a million kills with it without even doing anything. <laughs> to be honest, the nerf that they're actually bringing out on the phone, I am looking forward to that nerf, to be honest with you. Because I've used the farm myself and I just feel like I'm being a bit of a noob when I'm actually using it because it just seems too easy to get the kills. Whereas I'm actually using this gun and this is another one that people do say is overpowered. But to me it doesn't seem that overpowered. There's a lot of recoil on it. You've got to get the hits. Like you can see the damage that I took off him there. They were blatant hits and it didn't really take much damage at all. But there's a guy right here and he's for me. I'm dead. God damn it. Fawn at range will always be a last word because of the tick damage, simple as that. If he gets the headshots, I'm good enough dead. Oh shit, there's a guy right here. Clutch! Oh, come on guys, you gotta love that kill. Okay, so we got some guys coming in, we're just gonna take out this guy right now. There's no more guys, so we are free to pick up the heavy ammo. Now that we've got the heavy ammo, we're going to rush towards air side. You can see a guy right here. We're going to chuck one rocket straight into him. Just have a quick check. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Reload. There's a guy right on the floor. Boom. There you go. And there's a guy right in the corner there that's about to come to the window. Boom. Yeah, you can rock it, but I got you back. And there's a guy right in the centre. Okay. So we just took those out. Going to turn to the left here. Oh. 
Hello, ain't no stopping me, ain't no playing me. Ah, it's the end of the game, use me blade dancer. Woohoo, I pick up two kills right at the end. So don't forget guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, if you like the gameplay, and peace out really.